Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Swing Batter. I am your host, Brendan. Dad, you want to kick us off with another wonderful, glorious contract for Todd and I to comment on? Well, this is a great contract. Um, we're going to talk about Adam Dunn. Now, let's give Adam Dunn his due. Adam Dunn pe- played for, it looks like he played like 11 years before this big contract. And he he hit a lot of home runs. When Adam Dunn retired, he had 462 home runs. So he, he was an offensive threat with Cincinnati. And he knocked in over 100 runs uh, three times. Uh, he had two years with the Nationals, knocking in over 100 runs each year. Typically hitting... 35 to 40 home runs every year. So Adam Dunn was an offensive juggernaut. His average wasn't great, but it wasn't embarrassing. It was typically 260 to 40. And it got down to 230, but he struck out a lot. He was a power guy who struck out a lot, but he produced numbers. So at the age of 32, Stage left, swing batter time. Adam Dunn signs a true swing batter contract. Todd, do you want to tell us about that? The revolutionary human windmill, as I call Adam Dunn, uh, was there to provide you with three true outcomes of a pitch. Home run, strikeout, or walk. There was no alternative. None at all. And so what he did was he flirted with the Tigers for a little bit. And uh, when he flirted with the Tigers, they were like, hey, listen, we have an outfield that's the size of Montana. Um, it'll be great hitting home runs here. Um, you know, we could put that left hand power. We could put that right into the lineup. We'll give you some protection. Um, but then the White Sox came along and they said, well, we'll offer you four years, $56 million. Four years, $56 million. Now, not huge, but in 2010, big. And, you know, they really had never seen him play defense. So they're thinking to themselves, this guy's probably really great in the field. And he's not. Um, so they, they, you know, I think they probably gave him a glove at some point and realized that was about as good as a penguin with a snowboard because, you know, he's going to hold it, but he's not going to do much else with it. Um, so. He goes into this contract, four years, $56 million, big signing. This guy's going to drive in a lot of runs. He's going to give us power. We're not really expecting much as far as average, but we got our big three outcomes. You know, no special features on the contract that I saw from our friends at Spot Track, but uh, White Sox are there. They're guaranteeing it. We're going to get a walk, a home run, or we're going to get a strikeout, but at least you're not going to hit in a double play. So if, you're, if you're paying so, a seasoned veteran, which is this is what he is, um, you would expect him, the White Sox to be looking at getting over the hump, getting into the promised land. And for this amount of money, now again, it's not a little, but it's not crazy. We've seen some crazy deals, but this is not a little bit of money. And it certainly is something that you could have said, like, maybe I want two years, not four. But they did four, and they did commit to quite a bit of money, which again, hats off to you, the agent, who is doing fine work for them. And hats off to you, Mr. Dunn. So how... Uh, how did the fan, or the windmill, as Todd put it, perform? Yeah. Well, the first year, I noticed he only played 122 games. I suspect there was some kind of injury in that year um, because he didn't play as much as he usually did. However, he did make an impression by batting 159. Yeah, Ooh. I said that, 159. Wow. He did manage to muscle out 11 big home runs. Uh, but I, because he only played 122 games, we'll give him a pass and see how he does in year two when he got into 151 games. Well, he raised that average way up to 204. Okay, that's right, 204. That's a shortstop you put in in the eighth inning to field. That is not a guy you want. But startling, this is amazing how Adam Dunn played. 204 with... <laughs> Everybody's sitting down, 41 home runs and 96 RBIs. You can't get that kind of offensive production from that batting average any better than that. I mean, that was, I have to say, 
Adam Dunn was amazing that when he hit, he brought runs in. He just didn't hit very often. He did manage that year to have 222 strikeouts. This guy's, I wow. mean, it's like, so wait, were his run were, or nothing. Were his Over strikeouts nothing. higher than his average? Yep. When the yep. number of strikeouts is higher than your average, you may want to consider changing your swing and leveling it out a little bit so it spends a little more time in the strike zone. 40. I have a suspicion his 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 swing was on about an 87 degree angle. <laughs> it was it was all or nothing with this guy. It wasn't get on base, move the runners forward baseball. It is I'm looking for a three run homer tonight, right? That's that's why they played him. And he did get 96 RBIs, but man alive, we're a purist in baseball. To have your key run producer only bat 204, mm. that that had to be frustrating to some degree. Now, unfortunately, can we, it only can got we pause just for one second to reflect on 220. Absolutely. At that time, yeah. 222 at that time is number one in Major League Baseball. The most in Major League Baseball. He nice. set the mark. He was beaten. He, Ever? Yes, in a season. He was beaten later on oh my. by another individual who won't be named because it's not fair. This is Adam Dunn's time. 222 is amazing. He was only beaten by one strikeout later on, by the way. He wasn't beaten by a lot. And he did beat the infamous... Okay. Mr. Davis, Chris Davis, hats off to you, by one. So my question oh, wow. to okay. you, if we go to his last game play, did they put him in to make the record happen and then give a tip-off to the old fans? I'm sure that's not how it went, as I know <laughs> as we go through the 50 for 50 season that we're seeing today. Some may argue this season was a bit better, more exciting, that's for sure. Carry on. Hey, you want to know something? Hey, listen, you want to know what happened in 2012? He made the All Star game. He made the All Star game. <laughs> I, mean, I thought, and not the home run derby. No, he made the All Star game. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Forty percent of his hits were home runs. It's the White Sox are getting what they wanted. So they I, I, carry on. Carry, I just think the two twenty two is just remarkable. We just need to take a moment to just say, this is why we made it. We made swing batter. This is fantastic. So we go to the third year, and he actually increases his average up to a swamping 219. Um, and he took his strikeouts down to a measly 189. Um, but also, his home runs went from 41 to 34. RBIs went from 96 to 86. So it was a like 80% of the guy the year before. He, every, he did everything a little bit less. How old? Um, how old did he turn that year? That year he was thirty-four. It's not a bad age. Yeah. Now remember, they're still on the hook for another year with this guy. But the walks should and be going up. The walks should be going up. That's what Bill James says. He says, as you get older, your eyes get better as far as seeing the strike zone and that type of thing. I mean, the strike zone is huge. The guy's six six, two hundred and eighty-five pounds. He did walk a lot. I mean, but to, to, now we're down from 100 to, to 76. And um, mm. so we go to the final year of the contract. And as you can suspect, um, th this is the year the White Sox finally said, well, I think we have to admit that he hit a lot of home runs, but he cost us a lot uh, in terms of losing ball games. His average back at 220, home runs down to 20. Uh, strikeouts still, I mean, percentage-wise, very high, 132 strikeouts. It's the same guy, less productive. Uh, and I don't know how to assess this. You have a guy who never hit for any kind of reasonable average, struck out a lot, but hit home runs and drove in runs. And if you count walks to a guy who can't run, so he walks, but he's base-to-base to, base to move him to, to score, um, I don't know what he's given. He's it's home run or nothing. Uh, but it didn't end before the year was up. The White Sox uh, found a taker. Todd, do you want to tell us about that? Yeah, I mean, like you know, when in doubt, pay somebody. And so what they did was they uh, they sold low, really low. So they traded Adam Dunn to 
the Oakland A's. You're like, wait a second. How are the Oakland A's taking this contract? Easy. They said, we will retain the contract. The Oakland A's say, well, yeah, but we still owe the guy $1.2 million. They say, well, how about we throw $1.3 million in cash? So you take him and $100,000 and then you, you know, over what you have to pay him. And so uh, the A's said, great. Talk about money ball. I mean, that's... uh. It's as good as it gets right there. And the reason why the A's were so wanting to add some power to their lineup is because they were pushing for the playoffs. They didn't make a wild card game that season. So congrats to the A's. Mr. Dunn did not play in that wild card game, and they did lose in fantastic fashion to the Royals that season. But the A's were able to push across the finish line, so I'm sure that was not the only move Mr. Bean made for the A's. Uh, congrats to the A's. Obviously, they did not make this list. Congrats to the White Sox. That is a, you have so many things to be proud of this year, Chicago White Sox fans. But Adam Dunn, certainly, you would love to have had him on a season like this season because watching someone hit 40 home runs strike out 222 times would be fantastic over what you got. Adam Dunn is really an anomaly. I don't know if that's the right word, but he retired with a 237 average, but hit 462 home runs. It struck out 2,379 times. It's like the human it's version bad. of the strong arm competition. It really was home run or nothing with this guy. Then where was he where was he born? He was he was a big he was a very I remember his home runs. Born in Houston, Houston Texas. Uh, that is Texas sized person right there. He had a great nickname, the big donkey. <laughs> a couple reasons you could be named that. <laughs> he did go to college and play baseball with the University of Texas at Austin, the Longhorns. Yeah, that seems to fit. Um, but he was in the majors at the age of 21. Well, I mean, he he um, he look at it, he stuck around a long time and he gave he produced a lot to go along with his yeah. inadequacies. Yeah, to have listen, that is as that's as Texas a batter as I've ever heard. He had a heck of a career. Hats off to you, Mr. Dunn. You and your agent were able to get a great deal. I think you provided some good memories. I would love to hear some comments from White Sox fans regarding what home run memory tickles you the best because he has a lot, but I'm sure he left a lot of bet on base. And that's why it's a swing batter contract. So uh, thanks, Dad. Another good one, as always. Todd, thanks for all the stats and figures, as we would say. And uh, thank you for joining us at Swing Batter. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we look forward to reading and checking out your comments. And don't forget to suggest any players that you believe belong in our Swing Batter Hall of Players. Thanks so much. <laughs>